you know, they are so meticulous and methodical with how they go about their offense. And they know they look for the first option, they look for the second option, they look for the third option, they look for the fourth option. And they put pressure on you. They have terrific players um, that have a knack for getting to the basket. <clears throat> and I thought our guys, you know, did a very good job of it. You know, the guys who were guarding the, the, the various players coming off the screen did a good job of fighting and getting through. And the guys that were supposed to support and help did a decent job helping, you know. After the first, I mean, we had a stretch in the first half where they got too much penetration and too many dunks and easy baskets. You know, interior points, uh, you know, we made a few adjustments, changed a few things. Um, and our guys, our guys' effort and communication, I thought, was key. What did you start to do particularly well about the five-minute mark left to go in the second half or so? Six-minute mark when you said five, about 56, as you guys started to open up things a little bit about coming. It started to go more in your favor. I think one thing was key was it was I think at that point you know we called the timeout you know we come out and uh, they they went to zone and we had a very good possession we you know, went through the initial part of our zone offense we got it into Julian Ball and zone collapse he kicked it out to Chris who hit a really big shot that was just very good execution on our guys' part coming out of a timeout coming out of a timeout to get the shot the shot we wanted for someone we wanted to take it and, and it went in um, and then after that I think down at the other end. Uh, you know, I, I think just, just, just our energy level, our communication. That's, that's the only our communication I thought was very good, dealing with all their screens. Coach, did you have a certain set strategy today in terms of shutting down Gibbs or Wanamaker, or what exactly was it coming in? No, there was nothing in particular. I, I think it's just the effort and the energy of our guys. You know, it, it's, uh, there's so many different players you can say this about my league, so many different teams you can say this about. You can come up with all the strategy that you want. Players are too good, and the coaches are too good at putting them in positions to have some success. And so, you, know, you just have to work, you just have to work, and, and hope that the stars are aligned properly for you, and they're aligned for us tonight. Talk about the uh, offensive game, Chris Redhead today. Um, what did you, say, Chris? <laughs> uh, you know, it's it's. I've said this. Uh, you know, Chris Chris made plays. Chris, I've said this after probably the last four or five games, and probably will say it into the future. You know, we have different guys on different nights, and you've seen that with our team. You've seen that with our team, anyone who's followed us. We have different guys on any given night can step up. Our guys have done a terrific job of sharing the game and finding the open man and throwing it around. And tonight, uh, you know, it just happened to be Chris's night. And so that's, that's not, he didn't do anything today necessarily that we don't see every day in practice. That we you guys haven't seen in games. It was just, it was just, it was just his night tonight. His teammates kept finding him, and, and we spread it around. So Gibbs, Gibbs had a couple of threes right in front of your bench, and seemed to get picked going. You were able to seem like there was some, I don't know if there was an adjustment, but something happened a little bit after that where it was not easy to get threes off. I saw a couple of times Greg Monroe was out defending threes. Yeah, I think we, we, I mean, he, he, he makes, he makes shots. Uh, and, and we lost him. I mean, he, he, you know, we, we, our, our, our attentiveness wasn't as good as it has to be there when he hit those couple of threes. And I think that that's going to woke our guys up a little bit, and they're just much more attentive to where he was. Okay. As a big on the offensive end, what did you see from uh, Pitt's bigs defensively? What they throw at you? It seemed like you had Nasir Robinson on the most of the game, having the most match size wise. What do you see from him in particular? Even though we had. Uh,
Chris, you had a couple of threes um, early on, and then it seemed like you said your case was kind of you know, being aggressive. Did you find that as an opportunity to drive the lane after that when they were coming out so hard well on you? Uh, well, I noticed that they were closing down a little bit, so I just wanted to attack the basket and try to you know, create some happen for them. Uh, they're a very good defensive team. Thank you. 